Hi YouTube, I uh, just want to do a quick update on my statue collection. Um, I was finally able to assemble the Batman Hush Poison Ivy by Pinewood Studios. And let me say this, it is absolutely gorgeous. I would even rate this statue probably close to the Huntress statue. The Huntress was really beautiful as well. I mean, it's, it's not as, not as uh, Lloyd as this statue, but it's kind of hard to keep focus. It's kind of nighttime. But uh, I can say without shadow of a doubt, this statue turned out to be wonderful. Uh, I was actually very lucky that I didn't receive any breakage on any of the hair. I mean, I, I am just fortunate. I look at every reviewer in YouTube and they pretty much have their hair broken on the back, somewhere on the side, somewhere, something is broken. The only nitpick I have is, is this damn fine here. I don't know, for the love of God, I just can't get it down there, like wrap around the leg, as they show it on the Pine One site. I saw one video, uh, one reviewer did, he said he tried to, you know, bend the vines, and he kind of just got a clean break off of it, so I just didn't want to try at all, I mean just completely not worth it. I mean, so uh, if Prime Month's seeing this video, let us know how you're supposed to wrap this, this, this damn vine to all the way down here on the legs. I, I, I just, I, I don't know how you guys did it. I mean, I pretty much followed your video guide, but it just, it's impossible. Like, unless you actually force it, I mean, I don't know if I have to use a hair dryer, but the thing is, uh, if I use a hair dryer and this is not plastic, it is poly still, then I'm still screwed, you know? It doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is a very beautiful statue. I mean, if you have a chance to buy one, go for it. Um, I can tell you right now, the camera and pictures does not do this statue justice. Um, it's just the fact that um, for some reason the videos they just don't capture the statue very well I don't know what it is and the cat here it looks amazing it just looks amazing I mean the eyes look so real and the fur it's kind of really fluffy it kind of looks like cat fur <coughs> surprisingly this 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 suitcase uh, it's really heavy. It's I would say it's like a pound. I think it's probably a pound of polystone. I, I would think they would use plastic, but they're using polystone on that. So yeah, uh, fourteen. I think it was probably close to fifteen hundred dollars spent. Completely worth it. So if anyone's uh, having reservations on whether to make a purchase on this I could safely say if you spent money on this statue you would be happy now we just have to wait and see if the Harley Quinn the comic version comes out for Prime 1 Studio that sucker has been delayed for three years I don't know at this point I, I don't even know if I want to continue on with making that purchase. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for viewing my video. Um, and yeah, have a good day. Keep collecting. Bye, everyone.